Okay, I just wanted to show you something cool that I came across when I was visiting my parents in the U.S. back in August. And that is, um, I was using their, I didn't bring my computer with me, and I had some photos from our trip that I wanted to edit, and I didn't have access to Photoshop or GIMP or anything else, and it would have taken too long to download and install on their computer. So I wanted to show you this really, really cool online tool that you can use to edit your photos right from your web browser. So I just did a search for Photoshop web, as you can see, and it came up, but the URL is www.photoshop.com slash tools. And here, okay, so you just wanna scroll down a little bit, and it's this link right here, Photoshop Express Editor. Make your snapshots look great with easy options for quick fixes and creative enhancements. Okay, so what it does, it asks you to upload a photo. Okay, and it says that it only supports editing JPEG files for best results. Choose a photo that is no larger than 16 megapixels and is in the JPEG uh, format. So let's see what we have on my computer here. Okay, you can see I have a ton of junk on my computer, but I do have a image from yesterday, Halloween, of my sons. Um, now I'm in the Adobe Photoshop Express Editor, and there are many different settings here. So under Basic, you got Crop and Rotate. Okay, so this will allow me to crop the image if I wanted to. Um, as I move the mouse over to the right a little bit, you notice that it changes, and if I wanted to rotate, I could. I actually don't want that. But um, as you decide, you can hit done, or you can hit return, or you can move on to the next thing. I'm gonna hit undo, and let's click on something else. So you have resize options as well for height and width. Autocorrect is kind of cool. This, um, let me see if I can zoom out here a little bit so I can see better. Okay, so this is autocorrect. Now this image, I think I've already adjusted the levels, but it, um, allows you to kind of preview all of these so-called fixes. So this one makes the colors more cool. This one, I guess a little warmer, you know, a little bit of uh, contrast, etc. So let's say I like this one. If I click on it, it will do that. Okay. Um, and it allows you to actually view, let's see, temporarily view original image. Okay, so when you hold it down, it shows you the original. When I click off of it, it shows me the improvement. So actually, that's kind of nice. It looks like a slight contrast. Um, exposure is here. So if you have a very dark image or if you wanted to darken it, you can, again, it gives you all of these little um, so-called improvements. This is the original. This is it getting lighter and lighter. So if you wanted it more light, I wouldn't want that. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. They have a red eye remover. And whenever you don't know what something does, just look for any special instructions. This says, click the center of each red eye that needs fixing. We don't need that. It also has touch up settings. Click and drag over an area that you want to retouch. Once you have the area inside the green circle, drag the red circle to a clean part of the photo to use as a sample. Okay, um, you can adjust your saturation. So let's say I wanted to make them black and white. I could, or if I wanted to desaturate the image, I could, and it does that. And again, I can always hold it down and it'll show me the original. Hmm, kind of like that. And you can always zoom in and out here. There's options to preserve skin tones if you want them. But anyway, so these are the basic adjustments. I'm going to, I think, go with my, whoops. Let's go with our original, okay? So here's my original. And then under here, you have white balance, highlight, fill light, dodge, burn, sharpen, and uh, focus. And then you have effect. So you'll notice that a lot of the things that we go over in Photoshop and GIMP are also in this online editor. So let's say we wanna colorize the whole thing. Let's see. So this is hue, and you can kind of scroll through here. So if I wanted to make them look really funny, I could. But um, so you have these options, they're not, as sophisticated as what you would get in the main Photoshop, but you more or less can get the job done, especially if you are far away from your programs. Let me go back to my original here. Black and white option as, as well, tint, sketch. 
distort, etc. So they have effects. And then, on, so that's under the edit tab. And then under the decorate tab, <laughs> if we wanted to be silly, we could do text, we could do bubbles, sticky notes. Um, I'm not even sure what some of these are. I guess we could, I don't know. Let's see what that does. Add. <laughs> okay, so this allows you to kind of, um, I don't know, design little cards or stickers, etc. Um, miscellaneous expressions, frames. So let's say we wanted to frame this, we could. Okay, now much of this I would never use, but it's good to kind of know how it works. Let's uh, undo that. Okay, and so that's pretty much it. And you also have opacity settings up here. And this is just uh, them trying to solicit your feedback. There's other settings as well. And this lets you be in full screen mode. So that is the very quick crash course slash uh, tour for this Adobe Photoshop Express Editor. I think that the best way for you to really learn how to do it, aside from just watching me click buttons, is for you to try it and experiment with the different settings. So basically, that's it. When you're done, you hit done, click, and we save to our computer. Yoink. And that's it. Give it a name. And it's saved. And you could actually, if we hit done, you then have to start the editor again to do another image. But that is it. And it's a really powerful tool and it's free and you could do it anywhere as long as you have a computer and an internet connection and a JPEG. All right. I hope this was helpful. Take care.